Hi, I'm Isabella. And I'm Lily. And we're here as members of Cadence's Fourth Wall Student Forum. We're here at the opening night of Cadence's Detroit. Let's go see the show. Why do you think that this play is called Detroit? Detroit, of course, has been through some troubling times and this and that, and that's what this play's about kind of, you know, a lack of connection with neighbors and a lack of connection with the way things used to be. When um, a city or a family or people kind of go down so far and they sort of hit zero, which Detroit is in bankruptcy, it's having a lot of strife. There's nowhere to go but up, and sort of transformations can happen from that place. And I think the characters in the play are sort of facing that kind of zero, and sort of, are they gonna flourish because they have to become creative and find out different things they can do with their lives, or is it gonna kind of crush them and, you know, kind of end up leaving them without any options? What are some of the greatest attributes of the show? It's really funny. It's yeah, really it's fun. Really it's really funny. funny. Like, that's, all I can, that's the only way I can describe it. It's just like really funny. It's, it's like, uh, super. It's just so <laughs> anchored by strong acting, and it's just really funny. I really appreciate the, the two couples coming together, and even though they're very, um, they're very different and they're on different sides of the track, as you might say. It's really fascinating to watch them identify and connect with each other and really find that common ground. Thank you for joining us on this preview of Cadence and Virginia Rep's production of Detroit. It runs from May 1st through May 24th at the Theater Gym. See you there!